Welcome back this afternoon. The International Diabetes Foundation recently reported that the U.S. ranks 18th in the world for rate of obesity. Compare that to the U.K., which was 43rd, and France, which was 108th. Well, obviously, nutrition has been a focus with kids in schools, but it's a widespread concern. And joining us today is Adrian Paxosa, a nutrition coordinator at Cedar Springs here in Austin, to talk about the do's and don'ts of dieting. Thank you so much for being here of this course. afternoon. Of course. Thank you. We have our visual aids of yes. um, some food <laughs> examples here. Um, first and foremost, one of the big things about this is portion control. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I like to say and at Cedar Springs, we really do teach that there is no such thing as bad food. So that just is as so great to hear. <laughs> I know. It's wonderful. <laughs> so just as like a slice of pie, this is plastic so that you guys at home know I'm not like squishing pie. <laughs> From a slice of pie to some broccoli, it all fits. There's no such thing as bad food. It's all about portion control. How, why don't some diets, where there's so many diet options, out there yeah. and you know you, people go through the different options and maybe they have a little bit of success but then it tapers off why don't some diet uh, methods work well Brian first diet it's a four-letter word it has die in it so we don't ever say Ugh. diet that's a no-no okay. a word and all being right. a registered dietitian we really like to promote that all food fits there's no good bad right wrong mm -hmm. diets there's a beginning a middle and an end so at the end we go back to what we used to do uh -huh. so as we do kind of education we like to say well how do we kind of get to eat anything and everything we like mm -hmm. and never have to say no but we want to make sure we're getting exactly what we need in the right portions so how do you get it to stay how do you get, you know, like you said, you kind of revert back yeah. uh, to your old habits. Yeah. How do you make it, you know, a new habit? Well, getting my magic wand out. No, mm -hmm. um, no, we want to make sure that we really cheat, uh, teach behavior change. And mm -hmm. so small things like today, focusing on water, making sure you're getting enough water. As soon as you master that, move on to the next thing. I think a lot of times people create all these rules good, bad, right, wrong, where rules are very limiting and restricting, whereas kind of having guidelines are based on education and evidence. So uh, for people um, who want to get started with dieting, want to want to kind of renew their dieting efforts, yeah. uh, what do you recommend they do? First, get rid of the word diet, and then we're going to switch to... Nutrition. There fitness. you go. There we go. Yeah. Lifestyle change. Lifestyle, because you only get one life. So live it well. So lifestyle change. Reach out to your registered dietitian. Reach out for support. Reach out for those people that are really going to make a change. And it's all about accountability. It's hard to make changes in any area of your life. So really finding that support system. Now when you say portion control, yeah. I mean, you know, how many french fries can you have? How many slices of pie can you have? <laughs> well this, okay. <laughs> these are a little stale. Yeah. <laughs> So this piece of pie and these french fries have the exact same amount of calories, fat grams, and everything. So it's up to you. You can yeah. have french fries or pie. I'm going to go french fries. I like french fries. Okay. Um, go salty over sweet. I am. I'm salty. <laughs> um, but it's all about, okay, well, this is my serving, and that's my carbohydrates, and I'm going to get some protein and vegetables because we want to make sure we're getting all these fabulous colors. I always teach mm -hmm. my patients, making sure you get at least four colors on your plate and okay. it's not all shades of tan. That's a good thing. Yes. All right. Uh, and exercise, I'm sure, you needs to move. be incorporated yes, as well. Yes, you got to move. Um, we want to make sure you're getting about 10,000 steps a day is considered a good amount of activity. Mm -hmm. But you know, everybody has a thing that they enjoy. So from powerlifting to running a marathon, you find what really speaks to you. Wonderful. Yeah. Adrian, a nutrition coordinator with Cedar Springs Austin, yeah. thank you so much for being here thank today. Thank you for having us. You're going to leave this food, right? No. Oh, okay. Gotta I'll bring you that. real food. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Yes, we'll be you. right back.